busy one. Get the American Melody coming by. And that's the Grand Gulf nuclear power plant in the background. American Melody and the nuclear power plant. And the uh, John H. McMillan right there. And the uh, Alice I Hooker right there. We all bunched up here together, but we getting her done. It's a little wide spot here, so straight wide. I got the American Melody coming by. And we're both meeting uh, John H. McMillan. And then behind him, I got the Hooker. Alice I Hooker going to overtake, so. Right here, we got one overtaken, one uh, meeting, and the second one overtaken coming. So we got a good spot here. So we getting all kinds of all kinds of uh, stuff done. <laughs> we got the roads there. <laughs> Them two been cramming up on my stern uh, hooker. He's been needing to get around me for the past couple of hours. Well, hour. He's been running slow behind us till we had a good spot. And then that fellow there, McMillan, he made good time. And he was meeting us in a good spot. So, so here we all are on radar. That's that boat. Uh, the McMillan, that's a hooker. That's a melody and that's us, all, all within a half mile. Actually, all within a quarter mile range, actually, at this very moment. But everybody knows their place and where we need to be. And it looks congested, but it's really not. We're all, we've all got plenty of room to do what we're gonna do. He's gonna, he's already coming by. Met him, gave him plenty of room. And he's gonna have plenty of room to get by here, so. It's all worked out just. I'm all clear there, so straight. I appreciate you getting some room. I appreciate both you guys working with us. Thank you. Have a good one. No. You bet. Be safe. That's the melody that comes by. So, anyway, that's kind of how it goes. Beautiful morning. Here, Grand Band, hit her look back here, Grand Band, she's a little tight. So now then we're steering on out of it. Driving out. See what we got here on the buoy, so we're in good shape. Got her coming on the and we will drive her on out of it. I did, it was a little quick flight. I hit her lick back. Get that head swinging around. Now they're going to roll on, so. She's tired. She got it. That's how wide the river is. You see how it's buoyed off down that shore. <laughs> buoyed off around the shore. See? That's how wide the river is, actually, right there. But the main channel runs down that shore over there. That. Anyway, we're gonna run along there pretty good. Get out on the buoys and pretty sunrise. Graham Bend will be down in Baton Rouge area later on this afternoon. Uh, this evening. It'll be this evening before we get down. We're still 106 mile out. 36 mile out from Baton Rouge. But we're getting close to the end of our journey. We finally got destination orders. Most of them going to Burnside, and most of them going to Knott's, I think. So, it's a really pretty morning now. Baton Rouge, 
it's this evening. About to get down here. I think we've worked through most of the bad stuff. We should, shouldn't have any trouble getting on down. Uh, hopefully not. Not on wood. We're making it. We're making it. kick in on me. <laughs> My coffee ain't kicked in yet. Too early for this mess. Too early for this mess. Mm. Yeah. Pretty morning. Pretty morning. Finish my coffee up. Pay attention. run over top a lot of that <coughs> most of the time
see them starting to change colors a little bit bright now. It'll be pretty sunrise. Pretty sunrise. Man, she's down low. See, I love that bank. Yeah, wait. A lot of river bank down here, that's for sure. A lot of sand. Sunrise headed down into Palmetto Bend. That's headed down into Palmetto Bend, mile 327, southbound on the Lower Mississippi River. On a pretty mid November, Wednesday, November, what is it, 16th? Mid November morning on the Lower Mississippi River. Look at that sunrise down into Palmetto Bend. <laughs> I steered around this Thomas point. I steered around the turn. 4.6 mile hour. I'm sure. It just putting around the turn. I mean, it was. I, <laughs> I was going to say, barely paid attention coming around that turn. It was so easy. But 
I was paying attention, but usually that turn there, you gotta really watch and stuff. And uh, I was dealing with logs and all that stuff because it was so slow and easy. Look at that. I mean, yeah, normally that's a flanking speed. I'd be backing up, flanking around that turn with my, you know, like that. And then, you know, when it's running water, you'd be flanking that fast around this turn. That's me driving. Not hard, you can see. I mean, I'm just a little, we're just a little over clutch. Not, we're, we're not running, you know, probably a third throttle maybe. I'm running about a third of throttle. But anyway, we're down the hole. Baton Rouge um, successfully delivering these barges. We're not down there yet, but let me knock on wood. We'll be down there in the morning. Uh, it's our first drops down at Burnside. So, but yeah, once we get down here, once I, I always considered once I got below uh, Upper Baton Rouge Bridge, see it's successfully, you know, that's the last little hurdle. Uh, it's not the last hurdle, but it's, it was always after coming down from, from St. Louis all the way down, Upper Baton Rouge Bridge was always kind of my finish line, that's the way I put it. Um, it's not, doesn't get, you know, down below can definitely be just as challenging, if not more. You get a big toe down around Whitehall, around in that area, and, you know, any of those areas, the 81 mile point. But for the most part, uh, you know, as far as coming from St. Louis, I consider it a, over Baton Rouge Bridge being. Or Tiger Fleet. This is Tiger Fleet right down through here. That used to be the finish line back when I first started the wheelhouse. Uh, the WKN days, uh, you know, NASA Marine, ACL, all those days. We That's where we would turn out of Tiger a lot of times. We'd sometimes we'd go down arm on stuff or hair ham, but most of the time we'd turn out of Tiger. Anyway, whoo! We are, uh, yeah down here and get close to our destination. We got these 25 successfully down a record setting, you know. Well, I know when I got on it was negative 8.4. I mean, that's uh, around in there. Negative 8.4 Memphis gates. Now, anyway, feels good. Accomplishment, you know, a sense of accomplishment for sure. Coming through Upper Baton Rouge Ridge. Uh, 10 down below. Capitol Building, all that there. Nothing come around Wilkerson. They're behind us. See, so come around the turn. Come down through the bridge. Anyway, we are Baton Rouge. Come to the upper bridge. We are here. We are here. <laughs> we have arrived. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got a quite a bit of footage on upload. So, anyway. I hear Conrad Boyne. <laughs> Mount 221. There's some deep water. It was a, over 100 foot just a second ago. I, my sound was adjusted the depth on them because I wouldn't get readings because I just had it set for 20 foot. But there is some deep water for you. 90, 80, 90 foot. Out there. <laughs> That's right off Conrad Point. Well, I'll get that light on that don't help much. Um, yeah, 90 foot. Deep water on 
extreme low water on the Mississippi River, there are some spots that are deep. And we're just right down from Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge right up here. Right down the river from Baton Rouge a little ways. It is deep. <laughs> Mississippi River. <laughs> We're sliding around the turn. See, sideways to get her. To get all. We're halfway around. We're halfway around the turn. But, yeah, we're sliding sideways in the river. For sure. Kind of weird. Now you kick it up. <laughs> Somebody hollered at me and said I was getting sideways. You get sideways down there? <laughs> yeah. We are sideways. But see, I started to turn up here and I get it. You start turning to where you can make this sharp. It's a hairpin turn. Look at this boat. Hey, one mile point. That's a hairpin turn right there. So you got to. You gotta get her spun around here. Almost like you're kissing your own butt. She's tight. No, she's not tight, it's just, yeah, it's just a hair free and turn. Just to uh, show a little size perspective, but she's coming on around. Forward 4.2, we're sliding sideways 3.4. So, definitely 
doing some Mississippi slide, drifting, whatever. <laughs> Power slide. That's what it is. Anyway, 81 mile point. We about got her legs. You can see with a little bit more turn, I'll let her fall down in there. And we'll be out here. We've got some boats waiting down here. We've got a ship waiting down here. So, that's their morning. Driving. I'm driving a little harder just to get her shoved out because I got that ship. He's gonna try to well he's gonna try to make a little time get up around the turn. So yeah, I got him coming time. here. You got the barber coming over there. there. Got two uh, regulations pressing up. Two barber. Yeah, two whistle old man would be good. Alright, Jay, thanks. There's the ship. Anyway, get the ship going. I got him coming so he can get up around the turn before the one behind us. That barber, he's working the fleet. Here's the radar image. But we got the turn made. I, I like I said, I'm driving on it so so it don't fall off. I, I could have just let her slide on down here and then been all right. But to keep it over here, I, I'm driving on it so he's got room to. So he can make the jump. That's pretty much what we're doing. So we let that ship can make it jump up around the turn give him opportunity for that next one comes. That's what that's doing. And so I'm driving hard, driving, driving on it so it wouldn't slide off down here. Kind of holding up that, holding up on it. You got a little better point holding up. Seeing the Barbara. Barbara working coming up there. There's a northbound ship getting him up around the turn. So that's how we do, man. It's a lot of working with guys and dealing with traffic down here. It's it's constant. You got ship traffic, boat traffic, fleet traffic. You got everything. So anyway, that's what we got going. That's what we got going. Oh, yeah. Made 81. Then we got a couple more turns down here at Brangier and uh, Homeless Brangier, Sunshine Bridge. Then we'll be backing in down there around St. Alice somewhere. Draw barges since our morning. Coolest thing on. <laughs> Cool this thing off a little bit. Man, where's the fire? We ain't got to run that hard. <laughs> but I did to get it straightened up on that turn. After the turn, so it didn't slide off. Anyway, that's my morning. Pretty morning coming around, Branch here. Yeah. Coming around, Branch here. And we go around Homeless and we down <coughs> around St. Alice. But it's been pretty colors this morning up here. Have a good little, little scenery action. It's looking uh, back up at Smoke Bend, 81 mile point, Pumpkin Bazaar. And coming around Homeless, like I said, pretty morning. be dropping barges shortly. Well, we've successfully made it to our destination. Dropping 12 of them here, or 13 actually, and on down. So, we made it. We made it down here by Sunshine Bridge. We have a Burnside 164 fleeting area. Now time to tear this thing apart. Tear this tow apart. Start dropping barges. We got uh, actually just three stops here, Knott's and Carline Fleet. And then we start building our northbound head back up. But we got water coming, so it's not gonna be too bad. Well, <laughs> we'll see. 
We'll see. <laughs> but we made it. We made it, y'all. Successful trips out. We're at mile 166.1. Thursday, November 17th. Uh, uh, 806. So, we made it. Yeah, they're about to get it done. There. <laughs> Off what snack time? <laughs> Finishing up toe work.